Concern not yourself, at this time, that the flag is at our top of the page, for you see my children is working out for my glory, as I showed Elizabeth, for right there I have said, where America has been taught to pledge allegiance to a flag, on that same page, I speak forth my power, my anointing, my answers, I use it as a ploy to get others to come and read what is there. Grieve not at this time, it is above an image, for I am not that image, that image is a symbol, it is a word above, who I am, I am the Alpha and Omega, it is my Ruha Kadash anointing on this ministry, this is my ministry, Ministry, I guard and I protect. You must urgently get these messages out. Be not so concerned in the order right now. Instead, be concerned with the urgency. For indeed, I gave Elizabeth that vision. When one who speaks for others with itching ears and makes promises I have not said I show her that vision of the American flag and as my name is struck out and as my name is off the currency, although it's only generic, for although I am God, you know my name, and as it's struck out of the currency, so too with a protection on America, and as I showed her, the flag will burn from the bottom right corner to the top left corner until this flag is consumed with my anger and my rage. How dare New York, after I poured forth my mercy and my love, I spared untold, uncounted souls, from September 11th, 2001, for many days hence, as the unburied, those that they thought were dead, as I had my angels chase them out, before the building collapsed and now they dare to defy what is holy they dare to profane the name marriage that which I have given as a symbol for the bride and the bridegroom it is not man man it is 
is not Adam, and Steve, it is Adam and Eva, as you call Eve, my anger and my rage shall burn New York, if they continue on, I have warned them and I have warned them, September 11th was only a sample, how dare them, and every state, including Canada, and the providences that follow, who dare to do the same, I remind you what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, the fate shall be the same, dare not say, the hedge of protection is around America, for this is a lie, straight from Satan's prophet's mouth. The hedge of protection is around my people, those that call out in my name, those that worship Yahshua, those that honor my true Sabbath, those that repent and humble themselves, those that look up and know the redemption draw off nigh, my baby's bride and my chosen ones and elect, these are the ones the hedge of protection are around. I have tore down the hedge of protection around America. And you shall see that flag burn. Be not angry at my apostles and prophets that I send to warn the doom will come. Instead, thank me that I care so much to warn. I warn this handmaiden again and again. I gave her a word, an audible word. I told her to tell the people, I will do all I promise to do. That not only means the wrath to come, that means protecting you. I warned her in 1999. People noticed the date. If it had not been for the intercessory prayer warriors that arose and fasted, September 11th. 1999 would have been the same fate as in 2001 September 11th because I hold back my wrath because of the prayers of the righteous that avail us much then the apostles and prophets are called false what would you say if I didn't hold it back no more? Then will you believe my apostles and prophets? Is this what you really want? I've held it back for the sake of those that the shudder and fear and tears. My little ones, my babies that I cradle in my arms. I hold it back thus far. Not for the sake of a glorified America who have made themselves a God in their own eyes. But I've held back my wrath. 
for my little ones, Visa Lokotina Katana, Gotina Katanda, Solokos Lokotina Gotina Katanda, who like a little child, Solokotina Katanda, looks up with trust, Kosolokotina Katanda, and love, Solokotina Katanda, to their father, Solokotina Katanda, with their eyes, he Solokos Lokotomas, Nakatina, Nakatan, Nukotina Katanda, but America you shall burn, Solokos Lokotina Kahia Katanda, I know this this prophet, Sulukotina Katanda, that speaks now, Sulukotina Katanda. Her voice is not going to want to be heard, Sulukotina Kosulukotina Katana, Nakatina Katanda. It goes against the prophecy club's messages, see Sulukotina Katanda. Those who speak of abundance and prosperity, Sulukotina Katanda. Those that speak of protection, Sulukotina Katanda. Though it's undeserved, Sulukotina Katanda, Nakatina Kosulukotina, Nakatina, Nakosulukatina, Nakatanda. There's always been prophets, see Sulukotina Katanda, that will speak for us, Sulukotina Katanda. Only words that others want to hear, Sulukotina Katanda. But I use this ap- apostolic handmaiden, Sulukotoma, Nakatina Katanda, to speak forth the truth, Sulukotina Katanda. So, Sulukotina Katanda, and the people will repent and fall on their faces and humble themselves before me, Sulukotina Katanda. Turn from their wicked ways, and not be caught by surprise. My son comes as a thief in the night, but my bride already knows to start preparing herself. What bride doesn't prepare herself? When the bride the bridegroom is coming, Solokos Lokotomas Nakatia, to take her down that aisle, Solokos Lokotoma Nakatia Nakatanda, Salakatina Kosulokotina Katanda. She makes sure her dress is without spot or wrinkle, Solokos Lokotomas Nakatina Nakatina Katana Nakotina Katanda, Solokos Lokotoma Nakatina Nakatia Nakatana. She makes sure that she is perfumed, Solokotina Katana, with my anointing, Solokotina Katana Nakosokotina Katanda. She makes sure that her light shines bright in her eyes, so all can behold my glory. Did I not tell you, my children, that you could not repent for America? Instead, did I not warn you, my children, again, to this handmaiden, I say, repent for your own sins, repent for your own houses, anoint your houses, do not take this lightly, even this handmaiden, Maiden's husband, Sulukos Lokotina Nakatina Katanda, must Sulukotina Katina Katina Katawa in a Kaslakatina, repent Sulukotina Katanda, Salakatina Nakaslakatina, Koslokotina Katanda, for he has not done this, Sulukos Lokotoma Nakatina Nakatanda. When I say anoint your houses, Sulukotina Katanda, Salakatina, do not say Sulukotina Katanda, but Lord, you'll protect me anyway, Sulukotina Katanda. Anoint your houses, Sulukotina Katanda. I don't care if you hear this message at night, Sulukotina Katana Nakatina Katanda. If you want the angel of death to pass over, if you want the hedge of protection around your houses, your establishment, your businesses, then do what I say, from Yeshua is not coming for a disobedient bride, the holy have grown more holy, the evil have grown more evil, the cold have waxed colder, and my anger has arose to such a high level, if it were not for my baby's bride, chosen ones and elect, it would all be over. Why are not the churches weeping and grieving at the things that's being done? Why are they not protesting at the things that's being done? Why are they silent? I'll tell you why. 
where they have taken the bribe of mammon to cover their eyes and their mouth. And let the people think all is well. Why are they not grieving? Why is not prayers every day going forth for the abortions and the murders? For the laws that are being passed that blaspheme my name I'll tell you this now for every minister that stands behind a pulpit for every spiritual leader that did not teach my people to honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy even if your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life you will be least in the kingdom of heaven your reward you will not know I'll tell you this you spiritual leaders for you did not lead your people to fast and pray of the ungodly laws that have been passed and the others that are on the way. So if your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will be the least in the kingdom of heaven. Your work will be a stubble in hay. If you have not laid all on the altar of sacrifice. You want to know the ones that I honor the most? This is like this handmaiden in our household. They possess nothing of worldly goods. They know not where the next meal comes from. They laid everything on the altar of sacrifice. They walked away from their worldly possessions. Even their family and their friends. Think that they are mad, insane, for they follow after me, they follow after my words, they follow after my footsteps, they do not build up their earthly treasures. In this world, instead they store up their their heavenly treasures. For they are not of this world, even though right now they're in this world. These are the ones that I honor. These are the ones that will reap the rewards. These are the wealthiest of the wealthy. For you cannot see their heavenly treasures. You cannot see their rewards. Because they're in my treasury. In heaven. And they are stored. You cannot see their mansions. You cannot see their beautiful garments. For you look at them through eyes of this world, but I look at them through the eyes of the kingdom of heaven. I have made my true apostles and prophets go in lack. 
to test the people for does not my word say when you so much as give a cup of water in Yeshua's name so you have done it unto me did I not command you to feed and to clothe the poor did I not say when you do this for my children in my name I'm not telling you to do this to the heathen I'm telling you to do it to my children your sisters and your brothers how can you say you love me and let them go hungry how can you say you love me and let them thirst how can you say you love me and let them wear rags how can you say you love me and let them go homeless how can you say you love me and let them go in need you will answer at the judgment day for each time I put it upon your heart to be an answer to prayer does not my word say those that preach my gospel should be able to live off that gospel but how can you say you love me when you're selfish and you're greedy and all you think of is your own needs this handmaiden pays a price her husband pays a price all my children who are anointed the greater the anointing the greater the suffering in this world the greater the attacks of the enemy and if you're not there to help protect them to intercede and fast for them I will want to know why and I ask you now how can you say you love me I'm not coming for a disobedient bride you're going to be like those five the foolish maidens that only had enough oil in their lamps for a short while you do not study you do not intercede you do not even fellowship or get a relationship with me you do not seek the higher anointing you deny my gifts and you will find out one day when I say depart from me for I never knew you so this is my message this day. 
As you see the name God, struck out of the Pledge of Allegiance, as you see the word God, struck off your currency, the vision I've given my daughter this day, you will see the American flag burns and the merchant shall cry from afar off and the world shall weep and lament but will they learn a lesson from her Oh, how few listen. Their ears are full of wax. Their eyes are blind. They only want to see through their own eyes. And they don't want to see through mine. America. You will reap what you are sowing. Again, I repeat, the hedge of protection is not around America. The hedge of protection are around my beloved, my babies, bride, chosen ones, and elect. Look up, my children. Deny not your faith. Deny not the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Deny not the name of Yahweh. Deny not the anointing of the Real Kadash. Deny not my commandments and my laws, my statutes, and the word that was made flesh. Look up, my children, for truly your redemption draweth nigh. Thank you.